Hi everyone, this is Dawn from Crafting on the Green. I hope you're well. This is card number four from the April Craft Kit. Um, so yeah, let me show you how I've done it. Uh, in your craft kit, you should have a Bermuda Bay mat and a Whisper White layer, and you're also going to need uh, a card base. So first of all, what we're gonna do is a bit of die cutting. So you want to take the uh, sorry basic white layer, whisper white anymore, um, and one of the dies is a little dotty type die. So we're going to use that first of all. So we'll get the die cutter. Okay. So what you want to do? Make sure you can see. Okay is kind of place it at an angle um, on one of the corners and then we're going to do the same on the opposite corner or well, you can place it wherever you fancy really but this is how i did mine so that's dotty holes number one and then I'm going to turn it around and do the same again on the opposite corner. And it doesn't have to be 100% symmetrical or even facing the same way, but it does give a lovely effect. So, let's show you this one. You also get a few dots everywhere. So maybe I'll use my pokey tool just to help those out. I say pokey tool, I'm using my scalpel, but you know, they all do the same job. Okay, lots of dots everywhere. Great. So now we've got our dotty, dotty background. What I'm going to do is stick that onto our Bermuda Bay background. So as you see now, the dots suddenly have a bit of colour coming through them. So get the Tombow. Okay, just like that. Stick that over the top. Okay, so next what I'm going to do um, is choose a butterfly. So here's some of the butterflies I had left over from cutting them out of the DSP earlier. Um, obviously on this card I actually stamped it and coloured it and cut it, but this time I thought I would go with the nice bluey greeny one here because I thought it would match quite well with the card. So I'm going to use that one. Obviously you could use any that you fancy. Even the pink goes quite nicely. <laughs> but it's great when you just have all these to play with for another day. They're all ready to go. So what I'm going to do first before I stick the butterfly on is I'm going to pop this onto the card base. So again I'm just going to use Tombow. And just pop that one on. So again, I'm not going to add a greeting on this one because, again, I'm not quite sure what I want to use it for. But I've done this example as a thanks, which I think is a lovely thank you card. Um, but I've got a lot of birthdays coming up, so I may do it as a birthday card. So again, all I've done there, I've just bent the, the wings up again, and I'm just going to apply the glue just to the center of the body I might stick it at an angle this time and there we go quite like it at an angle so there's the the slight differences in the card obviously a different butterfly and this one's now at an angle whereas that one's straight but to finish it off gonna need some wings of stella aren't we 
definitely a Wing Costella type of set this with all the gorgeous butterflies. Okay, yeah, good old covering. Lovely. So that's it. So that's card number four from your craft kit. Um, I hope you will join me for project number five. Uh, it's not a card, something a little bit different. Hopefully it'll give you some ideas. So um, yeah, let me let me get that ready and I'll see you shortly for project number five. Take care. Bye bye.